What is up, people? We are back with gym vlog number two, but it's going to be something totally different from the first one. I've actually decided to completely mix up my training. I'm just deciding to do something different, see where I can actually push my body. I want to do all that, that cool looking stuff, you know, like muscle ups and uh, all the random stuff that comes along with calisthenic. I do think my body weight related exercises are pretty decent. Dips, push ups, pull ups, etc. I have set myself a couple of goals over on my Twitter. I'll leave the socials down below in the description. And I basically just want to push towards like being able to do like a handstand free, and just hold myself in that position, a muscle up unassisted, the human flag would be amazing. And after watching more videos, I think it's pronounced like a, a, a planche. I want to be able to do that. It just looks cool. For these workouts, I'm actually going to be using an app called Thenix. I'm not partnered, sponsored whatsoever. I've literally just found the app randomly. And uh, obviously because I'm going to be using my phone to record this, whole session i've actually written it down on a trusty piece of paper so i believe there's like a little warm-up section it's nothing overly crazy there's literally just a couple of bits in the warm-up and then it just moves on pull-ups pipe push-ups chin-ups and then push-ups quite a lot of sets quite a lot of reps let's see how we get on so trusty piece of paper we are starting out with 10 star jumps nice and basic then into wrist rolls some band overheads bar hangs and then just a couple of push-ups just to get the shoulders and arms working so let's get it Nah, gonna grab a resistant band. You should probably do this stuff anyway, no matter what it is that you're training. Keep your shoulders nice and warm. You don't wanna be pulling any rotator cuffs. So, gonna wrap it around. Try and keep some kind of flexibility and mobility in my old age. Right, so we are now going to be moving on to the next part of the workout, the actual working sets. We've got to do three sets of 15 pull-ups and then moving into pipe. Difference between pull-ups and chin-ups though, my hands are going to be facing forwards instead of towards me. So palms away, clean pull-ups, head above the bar. Set two, I've changed up the music playlist. Wasn't quite cutting it. But I've whacked on some, uh, some Sefa. So on every single rep, I'm making sure to touch my feet on the floor, completely reset, stretch out my lats. But I don't want to be bounced. <laughs> this is harder than I thought. So with the uh, the Phoenix app that I'm actually using, there's like a beginner section, it'll move on, but it will only let you move on to the next section if you complete the right amount of reps in that first section. I want to at least get 10. Seven. No jumping. Nope, I thought I had one more in the tank there. So, the next exercise on my trusty piece of paper, 
called pike push-ups, which I've never properly done before. Um, but from looking around and watching a little tutorial video, basically a push-up being like a like an upside down V position. It's really to put the extra strain on your shoulders. So let's give them a go. Oh, okay. Uh, they're a lot harder than I thought. Not sure if I'm actually doing them correct. There's a lot of strain going on my shoulder, so I feel like maybe I am. I need to check and see how many reps I was actually meant to do there. It's three sets of 10, okay. We're good, I thought I'd skipped five, but about 60 seconds rest, we'll go again. So, I can tell my legs are killing and my hamstrings are killing just by trying to keep myself in the correct position. My shoulders are burning, but not too bad. But my wrists as well. So, I'm learning bits, that's the, that's the main thing. I'm definitely working muscles that I've never worked before. Oh, so now I've got four sets of 15 chin-ups. The difference between a chin-up and a pull-up is having your hands this way instead of that way, which obviously does get to bring more bicep into it. You can see it straight away. And my bicep obviously contracts. All right, obviously arms are already dead. I'm meant to be doing four sets of 15 on this. I tell you now, it's not happening. As much of a mindset thing I try and say this is, four sets of 15 is a little bit too, too much. Doesn't mean I'm not gonna try though. Not the best form, a little bit swingy, but 15 reps, we take it. So the difference between these and the pull-ups, I'm purposely not going all the way down on these. So I feel like I get better contraction in my lats when I actually don't touch the floor. So like I kind of keep myself, a bit of a gangster lean going on. Helps keep a bit more of a contraction in my lats, keep your, your biceps nice and tight as well. Oh, burning out quick. I honestly feel like it's my forearms and my grip that's giving in. It's not my back. Nope. So, I'm going to admit, um, I did just skip the last two sets on the pull-ups, well, the chin-ups. Just absolutely no way I was getting them. Um, my forearms feel completely dead. Apparently I'm now meant to do six sets of 20 push-ups. Um, obviously not too much forearms gonna get involved in push-ups. 
I do feel like this is going to be achievable. It's going to aim for about 60 to second 90 rest between each set. Six sets of 20. Let's go, 120 push-ups. Okay, first 20 done. Yeah, I feel like this should be achievable. You're giving it another go today. Sorry, no, no, we're doing uh, leg day, but ah. last thing is just a little bit of abs. Enjoy. You don't mind being on the camera, do you? There is a oh, camera. Oh, is there? Are you sure? Yeah, yeah that's I right. can turn it around if you, you want. I play video, I play video games. Are you playing video games? Oh yeah. On Twitch, Escape from Tarkov. My guy! You actually oh, play yeah, Tarkov? I used to do a lot, but I haven't recently. That's mad, yeah. yeah. Usually, I'll put it this side if you want. <laughs> there you go, it's pointing that way. Uh, let me, let me add it's it. only fair to ask. <laughs> So we're three sets in. I don't know if I'll make it six sets. A little bit harder than I thought. I'm obviously trying to keep perfect form on every rep. With 60 press ups in, three sets to go. Right, sorry, I think I've completely killed myself off in terms of push-ups. There's no way I'm getting any more sets. Um, so although the actual workout is so-called done, I failed on chin-ups. Technically failed on pull-ups, I didn't get three sets of 15 at the start. And I, uh, and I failed on the push-ups at the end, so I feel like this whole journey is gonna be a lot more difficult than I thought. That's, I wanted a challenge, so I'm now gonna make myself do some of these weird little crunch type things. Again, I've seen these in a recent video. Different to normal crunches. Legs fairly straight, which again hurts my hamstrings, but we're gonna try and stretch out a bit. Hands flat on the floor, and then I lift my feet up. Oh, they are insanely painful. Apparently there's ways to make it harder and easier. The further you lean back, obviously you get a bit of leverage. That's nice and easy. The further you go forward, obviously you're crunching more and you have less room to move your legs. Actually feels as like if my legs are locked in place. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Oh. I guess you just hit the follow button. Sorry? You just follow me on Twitch? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I got a notification. I appreciate it, man. Uh, Thank what's, you, dude. What's your name again? Mine's Ross. Ross. Ross, yeah. Right. But nice obviously I'm there. I appreciate it, man. Thank you. Everyone, yeah? And you, dude. Good luck with everything. I'll try and, try and watch your show on. Appreciate it, man.